Ladies and gents, we're watching the Scaramouche or the Wonder character demo, uh, Solitude Past and Present. This is going to be awesome. We're going to be watching the demo and teaser all together. So it's going to be pretty cool. Ooh, the Wanderer in... Is that Inazuma or is this Sumeru? I can't tell. I think that's Inazuma, right? Ah. Hey, you there. We heard Ooh. there's an inn near here. Hey, you there. Show us the way. All right. I mean, I could. Well, but you gotta be so aggressive about it. Like oh, I, I mean the wanderer. Too big, strong for Tui. Too big, Asking strong to for Tui. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? You know who you're talking to? Think you're funny, do you? You'll regret that. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure he's, it's about to go down. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yon's a drip. Okay. No, this is the music is going hard right now. Oh, what is that? Wait, what's that? Did he choose an element? What was that? Wait, that was kind of crazy, you know? Was that the element he swirled or something like that? That's nuts. Oh, he's flying. He, the character is flying right now. How is this fair? There are big strong Fatui that are about to die. A thousand years of death. It's over. Are you choking him? Hello? Hello? What is happening right now? Okay, the music is going really hard. Whoa. Oh, it's going even crazier. What? No way. Oh, this is insane. Oh my. I hope you guys can hear this well. Because boy, oh boy, do I hear this. For free? You're going to show us those for free? That's insane. You were looking for trouble. No one to blame but yourselves. Sick. Oh, is the demo We're over? I want to see more. I actually want to see more. Directions? I suggest you find your own way. Right. Oh, that was sick. I don't know why this part at the beginning part is kind of laggy, but that was awesome. Where is the part where he sort of swirled a different? Yeah, what is this? Is he... When he swirls an element, he gets like different colored things. That'll be sort of cool. I definitely am interested to see what exactly this is. So it's going to be pretty fun making videos on Skarmooch, which you guys should be following along with me. I'll be making videos on him all week, and we'll see what you know what goes on. So hopefully I do get him very soon. And wow, this is just insane. Uh, the music definitely goes a little crazy. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the character teaser in just a second. So yeah. Alrighty, here's the character teaser. Teaser. Yeah. Once more. That is the word. I have lost my heart. Alright, this should be good. Whoa. My skin feels like it's on fire. Oh wait, this is after we defeated Burning me alive. Armush. Turning me to ash. Okay. You mean you wish you had a heart? No heart. Mm. Puppet Sage. Have you ever heard this story before? Oh, this is the kid. There once was a puppet soldier. Uh, the the one that got burned, right? No. Forever and ever. But the soldier didn't have a heart. Classic and Pinocchio where story. Came from. Just what we wanted to see. One day, his owner didn't want him anymore and threw him away into a fire. No. But even in the flames. How would you do his that? His eyes never left the ballerina. The next day. Oh wait, he has a heart. In the ashes left by the fire. He always had a heart. Armus, you have a heart. The shape of a heart. But that's not a real heart. No. Maybe. But a real but heart. What if hearts can be born from ashes? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's seeing this whilst falling from that big mecha suit he had. That would be How interesting. Dare you die like this? How dare you die like this? 
Oh my. So it is the kid that got burned. What a joke. To crisp. It's just ashes. It's nothing left but ashes. Oh no. Okay, why does why does this have to be so sad? For free again? If only I could have burned to death in that fire. Oh, was the other joke? Oh, that's the artifact no. around his neck. In fact, I wish I'd never been born at all. Oh no. Oh wait, future Scaramouche? Future Wander, I should say. I've never been born at all. That he looks Is sick. Is that really all you wish for? Uh, wait, that's it? Alright, I mean, it is a teaser after all. But yeah, definitely, definitely sick. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting scene. He sees this whilst he's falling uh, after being defeated by us. The first stage of, you know, Bewer or Boer or whatever. But uh, I'm really sorry by the way I sound. I am going through a little bit of a cold and I'm just, you know, recovering. So if you guys want to wish me, you know, a little bit of get well soon, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, like the video, a little bit shameless, I know. But we are also going to be looking at the banners and we're going to be talking about some of the stuff that they're showing us as well. Here we are on the actual Genshin Twitter page and I see Farazan, obviously, she's going to be in another video that I'm going to be making. But for now, we're just looking into the stuff with... Gara, Moosh, or the Wanderer. And as we can see, we got some event stuff here. I think this is... Ooh, this is the banner right here. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. So this banner has obviously the Wanderer. <laughs> this is amazing. The art is so good. Uh, obviously, we have Farazan in the banner, which is absolutely awesome. We also have Goru and we have Yenfei. So the banner overall isn't the greatest of all time, but if you want the Wanderer, you get Farazan hopefully, and they sort of do a you know pretty good combo here together. And if you guys want Ito as well, he is going to be rerunning as well alongside the Wanderer and Goro Ito really good together. So that's why they are on the banners as well. So we can obviously we can obviously see the trend Genshin Impact is trying to portray here. The support character that comes along with the actual main character or the five star character. Uh, yeah, they're together and they're pretty much always together. So if you see Ito, you're going to see the Goru on the banner. I At least that's what I'm seeing from, from now. But the banner overall, if you want any of these five star characters, it is pretty much you know, a go for banner. Uh, otherwise, Yenfei, good, good character, but he doesn't really fit into this banner. So it's not like a the best tier banner. I wouldn't have to recommend summoning on this banner. But if you're going for the Wanderer, getting Farazan is awesome on the side. And if you're getting Ito, getting Goro on the side is pretty awesome as well. But overall, if you're just going to go for one character such as the Wanderer, the other two characters seem a little bit, you know, out of place and not supporting the five star here. So it is an okay banner. I wouldn't say it's the best banner of all time. And we can also see the weapon banner over here. The weapon banner itself looks unusual on Twitter. I don't know if that's just the case for me. But it looks a little bit grainy and weird. This is supposed to be some sort of weird 3D looking one. And it just looks terrible. I don't know why it looks like that. But um, I think this banner kind of sucks. So the thing is with this banner is we have the Favonius weapons. Obviously really good. We got Sacrificial Sword. Amazing. Wavebreaker's fin is very, very specific for certain characters, right? And the huge sword or the claymore rather with the uh, with a lot of crit damage right sort of only helps ito mostly i don't think it he, it helps other characters that much because it has that passive for defense uh i don't know anything about this new weapon i'm assuming they're going to be showing us somewhere over here yep there it is the new equipment 
So if we go over here, we can see the event wish banners for entire 3.3. We're going to be getting the Raiden Shogun banner as well as Ayato banners. I'm going to talk about in a separate video other than this one. And here is the weapons, the artifacts. I don't think they talk about the weapon specifically yet. Oh, they do. Okay. Here is the weapon, the Remembrance Catalyst is what I'm going to call it. Okay, it looks much better at level 90 because it glows. Oh, it has the hearts. Oh, those look awesome. I'm a big fanboy of Kingdom Hearts. So seeing this is sick. Because that pretty much looks like, you know, the Kingdom Hearts. So it looks kind of sick. Uh, and here we have 44% crit damage on this weapon with a high base attack of 674. With no refinements, obviously. This weapon increases your normal attack speed by 10% without any need for anything specific. And you get 4.8% increase in normal attack damage and elemental skill. Oh, when you unleash an elemental skill, you get normal attack damage increase. For a total of 48%. I mean, that's okay. It's not the greatest thing of all time, right? This is going to be very specific for characters that just need normal attack damage. I mean, it's not the greatest thing of all time. This is the event weapon that you can get, I think, at a refinement rank 5. So it's going to give elemental mastery. So this could be beneficial for a character like maybe Kazaha. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's going to give a damage increase to opponent affected by cursed parasol, which is, you know, this. But yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. Now we can go ahead and look at his actual talents here. And... We click on this real quick we can see his normal attack skill chain obviously we have already seen this in the past but looking at this here he just him flying in general is insane to me and i think that's one of the craziest thing genshin has done yet so this is de definitely awesome wow that's just that's just super cool uh we've seen these already mostly and here elemental burst which is sick by the way wow, that is awesome and obviously here are some stuff about him as well here is his ascension materials that you need his talent level up materials so you're going to need a bunch of weird stuff so you need some sumeru stuff you need some inazuma stuff and then here you go you need oh these are such a pain to grind but here we are anyway so, I think that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this specific video. We've got some TCG stuff as well, but we're generally just talking about the Wanderer in this video. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and you, if you have, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you for so much support on all of my videos recently. You guys have helped me a lot, and hopefully we get to, you know, bigger, greater things. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting me. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Hopefully, I will be better by then. But yeah, I'll be making a video on summoning. I'll be making a video on, you know, just Skarmouche teams in general, whatever. And I think that is going to be pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one very soon. Bye-bye.